Currently, I'm producing my debut feature called Metamorphosis and I'm also, together with my colleagues, uh, developing a teenage drama series. Um, also, I am uh, a freelancer as a um, production manager on various projects such as uh, films and TV commercials. For past three and a half years, uh, I was working on my uh, uh, feature documentary. It's called The War of Raya Sinitsina. I even started it before I went to my first interaction, which is crazy. And uh, now those days uh, I'm finishing uh, this film. I'm in the last stages. I'm, uh, I don't know if I look tired, but I am a bit tired emotionally and physically. Uh, in one week uh, I'm finishing the film, closing the film, and it's gonna be uh, premiered in Doka Viv. Uh, unfortunately, uh, because of the situation in the world, it's gonna be online. So, um, this is pretty much the state of uh, me right now in this life. It's very complicated. Um, our government is uh, totally disconnected from the people and uh, they uh, closed all the cultural events, all the cultural um, centers and uh, halls and now we are protesting uh, to open it, uh, we are waking up slowly. Um, actually today I am going to a protest, a big protest in Jerusalem uh, and we are demanding to open all the cultural halls uh, around the country right now? Well, in terms of, of the production, I think in the past couple of years it got much better. Um, there is this uh, newly established organization called Dog Serbia, uh, which is in a way a union of, of the documentary professionals, uh, the best documentary professionals in Serbia. And I think uh, Together with Film Center Serbia, they made a huge effort in increasing number of productions of documentaries uh, per year. I would again have to emphasize on the Doc Serbia and their initiatives, such as workshops, which they uh, organize annually, um, where the young aspiring documentary filmmakers would have a chance to um, learn from the best local and internationals, international professionals. Also, I would uh, mention film art uh, and its initiatives such as Interaction and Interdoc. In Israel we have a lot of film schools actually, uh, like 17 as I know. Uh, three most important ones, it's uh, Tel Aviv, uh, the Steve Tisch, uh, School of uh, Film and Television uh, of Tel Aviv University. We have Sam Spiegel in uh, Jerusalem. It's a very, very big uh, uh, film school. And we have uh, Sapir on, uh, on the South. And uh, this is like the main centers of cinema. I cannot say that we are a big, we have a big specialization for documentary. Um, a lot of film schools are more oriented for script writing and uh, fiction, but here and there you can see some uh, light uh, on the documentary. It depends, of course, on the student, students, and uh, I believe actually that students are uh, the one who uh, construct the film school. So it's not only about the program; it's also uh, the people uh, themselves. And a lot of people doing documentaries. We have a lot of interesting and controversial subjects here in in our country. Uh, so it's a very, um, very interesting um, field.
I would say that there is a large number of audience uh, which uh, goes to the documentary film festivals organized in, in Serbia and that is an evidence of the interest that uh, the audience has for these films. Um, also, I think it's very difficult for any film which is not a uh, blockbuster film to have uh, acknowledgement or any uh, space for, for its uh, uh, cinema distribution. Uh, so for the and for the for the TVs, I think it's it's a little bit better, but still these kind of films do not have uh, any room for distribution. The situation is not easy, um, but I'm full of hope and uh, I'm like uh, slowly becoming an activist more than uh, a director. Due to the um, pandemic. Um, a lot of uh, film festivals, big film festivals, were uh, uh, moved uh, to winter. Uh, the biggest one, uh, the biggest documentary film festival, Dokaviv, one of the largest and most important uh, film festivals in the world, uh, it's gonna um, happen in September, beginning of the September. Unfortunately, only online, um, because again, our uh, cultural halls are closed. And um, we are uh, doing the best to um, change it. Uh, a lot of production, cinema productions are freezed. Um, a lot of budget problems right now uh, in the country. Um, a lot of uh, funds, that state funds that are supposed to uh, have money from the government. Uh, they don't have it right now. It's delayed, the payments delayed. So the, the situation is not, is not an easy situation, um, but it feels like something new is starting up, uh, a lot of private uh, screenings, uh, some small, like partisans, we are, we are like partisans right now, uh, fighting for our um, freedom of our souls, let's say it like this. Our government uh, didn't do much for for the film industry or for the culture at all uh, we didn't receive any any help financial uh, or any any measures um, so and the the theaters and the cinemas are closed but i think the whole industry is actually really engaged uh, and really serious about this this uh, situation um, the shoots are being postponed or are interrupted or cancelled, uh, but some are still uh, going to, to happen and with all the, the preventive measures, of course. My participation in interaction uh, hugely influenced uh, my affinity for documentary filmmaking. And uh, for the first time, I got a chance to, to work in international crew, which I find very uh, important. And um, I think it got, me, it got me future partners and friendships, which I cherish to this day. I say it every time that I possibly can, that interaction, uh, and uh, Slajana and Deki, uh, they are beautiful, beautiful, bright uh, spot, a big bright spot in my life. And um, interaction changed my uh, my. I don't know if it's changed my career, but it um, brought it to some beautiful path and uh, it gave me the permission uh, uh, inside myself that I can do it and uh, it gave me a lot of um, understanding about cinema as a teamwork, as a energy between people, more than cinema only inside the screen. And uh, also 
it, bring, it brings me a lot of inspiration to, uh, to educate cinema, to inspire people. So interaction is my love and I hope my life will be connected to interaction and people of interaction more than everything else in the future. Thank you.